While shooting Voyage to Cure in the outermost islands of the Hawaiian archipelago, the most remote island group in the world, Jean-Michel Cousteau and the Ocean Adventures team found island after island awash with trash. Beer bottles, lighters, floats for fishing nets, TVs, plastic jugs containing unidentifiable fluids. Miles and miles of trash. Here we are on Lesson Island, and we spend uh, two half days exploring this uh, magnificent place where thousands of birds come to nest. And uh, we were uh, in complete shock. The uh, island is uh, covered with debris which comes from the open ocean. We have been able to just pick up walking by on the island, uh, which are essentially um, lighters coming from all over the world. Here's one with fluid still inside. We have toys. We have vials with still stuff in it. Our toy tires. Golf ball. Here's a tea. All of that we picked up this morning and last week. Now, when you visit the beach, you see some trash, right? but not nearly this much. So why is there so much garbage on these beaches in the middle of the Pacific? The answer lies in ocean currents. The Hawaiian islands happen to be in the midst of what's known as the North Pacific Gyre. A gyre is a swirling vortex, in this case caused by the ocean currents that flow between the Americas and Asia. The North Pacific Gyre is unfortunately the world's largest garbage dump and has earned the nickname the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Debris drifts back and forth between two massive areas, each about the size of Texas and highly concentrated with garbage, strewing trash across the Pacific. It's like a garbage superhighway. About 80% of this debris comes from land. It makes its way into storm drains and rivers, then travels down our watersheds into the ocean. All this man-made material makes deadly trouble for birds. Too often, they mistake trash for food. And during nesting season, this means adult birds are feeding garbage to the hatchlings. Their babies are then ingesting all this plastic. They accumulate great quantities sometimes. They, uh, most of the time, will be able to regurgitate it and get rid of it, and sometimes not. We need to do better than this. We need to really get hold of ourselves. Children, toothbrush, adults, mascara, pants, ball pants, everything's there. Bulbs, all of that has gone inside the parents and inside the chicks. It is our problem and it is our problem to solve.